okay so in the last video we learned how to solve the differential equation concerning with the simple electrical circuit now let's analyze this differential equation and its solution let's analyze the solution first so in the solution we can see there are two parts now look at the term that i circling from blue color if you carefully look at this term the difference between two terms is that this this term has the time term so it, it involves time right in this term you don't have time right so the term in the solution that involves time is called the transient term okay all right now let's see what happens when you run this circuit for a long time so long time means t goes to infinity mathematically that is the limit when t goes to infinity of the current how will the current look like after long time well when t gets large this circle term will approach to zero right and this term has nothing to do with time okay why this term approaches to zero remember what is the graph of e to the negative x this is exponential decay e to the negative x will look like this and it approaches to zero so e over r plus zero the limit is e over r so after long time your current will be not changing anymore it will be voltage over resistance e over r okay so we call this the steady state the solution no longer change and it's independent of time so that is the meaning of steady state solution where the solution doesn't change anymore okay now let's go to the differential equation and find the equilibrium solution now i guess you know what i'm coming at so to find the equilibrium solutions we take the differential equation di over dt plus ri over l e is equal to e over l so let's rewrite by taking this term to the right hand side e over l minus ri over l now to find the equilibrium solution we make it equal to zero that means equilibrium solution means the solution should not change slopes are zero rate of change is zero so the current will not change ideally that should be the steady state right we discussed this in the newton school in law so when you make it equal to zero we can see e over l is equal to r i over l l cancel out so i is actually e over r okay steady state solution is my bad equilibrium solution is e over r which is the same thing as the steady state solution okay so the solution will no longer change let's look at an example here i have given an example where the resistance should be 10 right so this is a typo so resistance is 10 and inductance is 20 a battery is 15 so e is 15 voltage source and resistance is 20, 10 so 15 over 10 is 3 over 2 so this is e over r so that is the current after long time. The current after long time is 3 over 2. Okay. All right. So how should the slope look like? So at 3 over 2, you should have horizontal slopes. If you have a current in the beginning of the circuit, in the beginning of the time in the circuit where it's higher than 3 over 2, the current will decay and it will approach to 3 over 2 and will not change anymore and if you have a current less than 3 over 2 the 3 over 2 the current will increase and approach 3 over 2 and then will not change anymore so that's the general behavior of what's happening okay all right then yeah thank you very much